Um, CBS is, it would appear that they're, uh, at least for the short term, they are turning their entire news division into the R. Kelly division. It's, they have... At least they're not milking it. They have struck gold, and they realize we're going to go with it. Uh, do you have the, the clip that I just sent you, Travis? I is, just sent it to Troy. It's worthwhile? It's what I think it is? Yes. Okay. And uh, it doesn't need to be edited. You can just play the, the, great. the well, Twitter let, link. Let's go to that first, because, yeah. of course... This is how you know when you're a news organization that you've struck gold. Um, every other news organization is covering what CBS is doing. And uh, they covered it yesterday on uh, The Five. Jesse Waters was covering what Gail King was doing with R. Kelly. And here's what Jesse Waters had to say on The Five. Taking no responsibility for himself. I agree. Hats off to Gail King for totally redeeming herself after the Smollett fiasco. Oh. Janet, I, you know. That was not Gail King. <laughs> oh, I knew that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, that was Robert. Roberts. Yeah. There's two black women on the news, and he got them confused. <laughs> oh, no. I thought that she did an interview I didn't see. She didn't. She didn't. Robin Roberts got the Jesse Smollett interview and, and, and Gail King. They don't even look alike. No. They don't even look alike. <laughs> I love that Gutfeld is there. Guffell does a good He's job so on that good. show. He's fucking hilarious. Yeah. Jesse Waters does a good job of just being that sort of prick, you know what I mean? Yep. There's just something so unlikable about him in and you know, in the in the sense that I think that they're supposed to be like he's supposed to get people upset. But I don't think that he's supposed to, you know, there's two big time black woman news anchors. Sure. Probably One not. In the mor- I, oh, they're both in the morning. They're too. both in yeah. the morning, but they're on different channels. Sure. Robin Roberts is GMA and uh, uh, Gail King is CBS News, and honestly, Gail King is making Robin Roberts look like a schmuck because she did R. Kelly so yeah. well, and Robin Roberts did, was so horrible with Jesse Smollett. Of course, twenty twenty is hindsight. Yeah, she fucked up, but she fucked up. I on do that like one. her though, Robin Roberts. Yeah, I do too. But of course, Gail King was great. Gail King was incredible, so incredible as a matter of fact. The Jesse Waters just figured they're all the same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's, he got very upset, R. Kelly. Oh, my God, did he? Those oh. are meltdowns he's had at home. Many, that's many a times. Home, <clears throat> that's a home meltdown. Many, many times. So, you know, I, the, I, I believe that part two of the R. Kelly uh, interview is actually airing right now. We got Rob uh, going through it as we speak. Oh, that's only part one. That's right. We didn't hear the whole thing. Yeah, clips are already coming in. From the second part of the R. Kelly interview uh, that is airing right now on CBS News. And when I say they've turned it into the R. Kelly channel, they announced yesterday, and this was not part of the original plan. They announced yesterday. The original plan was Tuesday afternoon, we interview R. Kelly. Tuesday night, we give you a teaser clip. Wednesday, we air a little bit. Thursday, we air a little bit. Dunsky, go home. They have now added uh, a Friday night special. I think it's either... Uh, I think it's a one-hour special, but I wouldn't be surprised at this point if they added a second hour to it, where they're going to do just a full, here's the R. Kelly conversation. Yeah, they're really, really making this a primetime event. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And it's all very good news for Gail King. Yeah. Because she comes across looking like a million bucks in this whole thing. Uh, They also interviewed R. Kelly's girlfriends. That's right. On this thing. And they're backing them. They are very much so. Do you have, uh, before we get to R. Kelly's stuff today, the uh, 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 R. Kelly girls clip? He's getting girlfriend stuff right now. Okay, let's play the preview then in the meantime. Kelly girls uh, up there, Troy. There we go. Yeah, go for it. Hey, like that? Why would they want to lie? Yeah, go ahead. This is uh, Gail King, and she's talking to R. Kelly's two girlfriends. Yep. Which, you know, I mean, if you're trying to put out there, I understand that uh, relationships don't have any strict definitions and we have to be a little bit more open-minded about things. But if you're trying to get out there, I'm, I don't have a harem. I'm an honest man. Right. I just am with women that want to be with me, blah, blah, blah. Maybe just have one girlfriend do the interview. Maybe not do an, an interview, because I would say for most of America still, the idea of a man having multiple girlfriends at the same time is a head scratcher. These two women... Um, I do believe they're there because they want to be there. I mean, they, they've said to their families multiple times, no, I want to be here. The police have checked on them, and they don't leave because the police are like, they want to be there. A lot of girls that said uh, that came out of there and said, oh, my God, thank you for saving me, at the time said that they wanted to be there, too. You never know when you've got a yeah. Stockholm Syndrome case That's true. or 
you got people who actually want to be there. Stockholm syndrome is, is terrible, but you can't. You, I don't think the police can come in and rescue you from it unless there's a crime being a, being committed. That's exactly right. If you're saying you're fine, yeah, what can you do? Yeah, you it know, doesn't. It doesn't make R. Kelly a good person. No, but legally, if you're sitting there going, "I'm here because I want to be here," they're adults. Yeah, they can't. The police can't sit there and right. go, "R. Kelly's messing with your." No, mind. your family's right. You should leave. Yeah. Well, they said that they wanted to leave. And their, their mind was telling them, no, they shouldn't be here. But their body, right. their body was telling them, yes. Bump and grind. Ah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Here's the Kelly, uh, R. Kelly's girlfriends. Why would they want to lie about you, their daughter? Okay. So <laughs> when I first met Robert, my parents told me to lie about my age. So when I met him, he thought that I was 18. Oh boy. My parents told me to lie about my age to him. Okay? When I met him, they even lied to the police. Mm -hmm. They told the police that I was 18. They told R. Kelly that I was 18. So here's this man thinking that I am 18. It's everything that she's saying is true. Um, our parents are basically out here just to get money and they're scamming. Parents, you're saying the same as saying? Well, both for our parents. Both for our parents are basically yeah. out here to trying to get money and scam because they didn't agree on what happened, you know, with the music or wherever it could be. And they're just very upset. That could be true, too. R. Kelly, one of his defenses is saying that the uh, some of these girls were sold to him. Yeah. So, I mean, that's fair. You talk to the person who's, and he's saying, look, I bought these girls fair and square. Yeah, the family <laughs> sold them to me. Yeah, I bought, look, I paid for these people fair and square. Yeah. If there's an issue, talk to the person who sold yeah, them to Yeah, talk to, to the me. seller. <laughs> yeah, that's, and I think that that's a good. Absolutely, my eBay rating is very good. It makes sense. He didn't, you know, he wasn't being a, a prick as far as negotiations go. Right. He paid what the price of these people, human beings Absolutely. were. Absolutely. And now he gets to have them. Sure. I think that that's, you know, call the Better Business Bureau. Yeah. If that's the issue. Uh, so, uh, I another guess, girlfriend clip. okay, another girlfriend clip. This is great. This is from, and this is, uh, from CBS this morning. Yeah. Rob just sent it over. Travis great. Only on CBS this morning, the two women claim their parents have ulterior motives. When I was 17, my parents were actually making me, trying to get me to take photos with him, oh my take God. sexual videos with him, oh my all God. kinds of stuff. Wait, wait, wait. Your parents encourage you to do sexual videos yes. with R. Kelly? Yes. And they said, because... If they ever have to blackmail him, what they're trying to do now, they can use it against him, which is exactly what they're doing. Joycelyn, I see you nodding a lot with what yes. she's saying. Because everything that she's saying is true. Um, our parents are basically out here just to get money. I mean, I look, they're, they're not being forced to say it, but... Mars almost fell over himself on the way out of here because he was celebrating that he got the Travis Cam working. But the Travis Cam is working. Jesus, I'm trying to be incognito, walking in. You see him almost fall over himself. Yeah, yeah. That's real stealth mode as he clumsily trips through the room. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's pretty scummy if true. Yeah. Do you think that, I mean, I don't know. I mean, the families are being pretty vocal about, they're not being quiet. Like if the families were doing that, would, would they be as vocal about getting their daughter back and saying on the news, hey, she's being kept against her will? Yeah, if that were true, you would think that they'd be at least a little bit worried that there was some kind of evidence of these conversations happening, especially if the daughters wanted to stay. Uh, do you want to get into this R. Kelly thing now, or do you want to take a break? Um, we can take a break because we have a lot of live reads and we also have, uh, what time is Andrew Schultz? Is he shortly? He's, yeah, he's coming up right now. So right, if good. you want, let's take a break. Yeah, we'll kiss a little bit, hang out. I'm not going to kiss because we have, just because we have so many live you. reads. I meant me and Troy and Travis. Okay, I'll do the live reads while you kiss the staff. We do three-way men kisses. Ooh. Don't worry, you're not included. You're a boy. <laughs> you're a boy. <laughs> it's just for the men? Yeah. <laughs> just Travis, Troy, and you. No, we, and you. Beers. No, 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 I'm not doing it. Huh. I'm not doing it. So it's going to be. Yeah. No, I'm not doing it. It's just three way. It's Why not, not four way. I don't want to. Come on. No. Weirdo. How I, gross would it be if all four of us just put our tongues in and we we're tickling each other? What the hell are you talking about, man? <laughs> the hell are you talking about? How awful would that be? <laughs> Why bring it up? I just thought how terrible it would be. <laughs> I never even thought of anything like that. Rob, comment. That'd be hot. You would want to do that? Just to watch. Yeah, I'd watch. Because you don't oh, have yeah. a beard. Yeah. Jim likes to have beards pressed against him. Yeah. No, I don't. I, you don't? No. I don't like only facial hair. That's 
That's a guy who uh, is done with the jokes because he's like, I've tried it and I don't like it. I don't care for it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it feels molesterish. You don't like a five o'clock shadow? No, I don't. You know what? Yeah, and you would be an expert on on that feeling too. No. Right? Yeah. Oh, come on, come no, on. No, I don't know. I don't they know. They were my age or a little older. Oh. <laughs> So should I do this read or should we do it? Now? Yeah, we're going to take it. You know, you brought up music and musicians. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if you've heard, but some people are saying that R. Kelly uh, uh, might have uh, had sex with underage women. Did you hear about this? <laughs> I have not heard that. Yes, some people are saying it could Allegedly, be true. Allegedly, Allegedly. This is alleged. This is that very alleged. years ago. I heard uh, back in like 2004, it, maybe? It is yeah. starting to rise to the surface again, really? slightly. Yeah. yeah By the way, they want... <laughs> we didn't mention this before the break. Yeah, they the the proverbial they the powers that be the powers that be desperately want R. Kelly in jail. You see, he's back in jail now because back of uh, child support, hundred thousand dollars in child support. And they know if he had to spend three days in jail because he couldn't come up with a hundred thousand dollars for bail, where the fuck is he going to come up with another hundred sixty thousand dollars for child support? They know what they're doing. They know they it got him. It was a funny thing in the interview where he goes, uh, he's just going on his rant. He goes, he goes, this horrible what they're doing to me. They try to take me from my kids. Yeah. <laughs> now he was trying to say his actual children. But for a pedophile, the yeah. line, they try to take me from my kids. <laughs> it's fucking hysterical. Poor choice of words. Yeah. Not the, not the nah, statement nah. you want to put out uh -uh. there. Uh-uh. Uh, he was back on the news this morning. Uh -huh. You know, because as we said before the break, CBS is really, uh, is milking this thing. It's really, they're doing, CBS is doing what you're doing with views from the CIS. Yes. They're like, we got all this content. Yes. What are we doing dropping it all in one yes. lump sum? Let's drop a little today, a yeah. little tomorrow. Keep them tuned in. Yeah. So that's what they're doing, uh, and I've heard, again, we have, uh, Handsome Rob has been on top of this. He's been fantastic, because right. we don't want to wait till the next day to cover this. We want to cover it day of. Right. So we're hearing these clips for the first time, uh, but we already have them. This is the stuff that aired this morning. Okay. On CBS This Morning. Okay. Um, R. Kelly and Gail King, part two of their uh, interview. Uh, R. Kelly uh, talks about his money. Of course, this is after what we saw yesterday yeah. when R. Kelly starts uh, standing up, spazzing out, looking directly at the camera, yeah. shouting about being taken away from his children. Uh, I believe when we last left R. Kelly, he had accused the world of trying to bury him alive, but I'm still alive. Yeah, he whispered a lot. He reminded me, the way he acted during that interview, he acted like Scatman Crothers in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. <laughs> I know it's a very creepy, weird reference when there were all the fucking mental patients are in his office. No? Okay. Well, <laughs> I, I would say Cuckoo's Nest is a little bit more appropriate to reference than most of what you usually do, so I'm okay with that. Okay. Yeah, I'm Thank okay you. with that. Yeah. Do you remember the scene? I don't okay, not specifically, but someday. Cuckoo's Nest is a fabulous film. It sure is. Fabulous. Tragic ending. I uh, only watched the first part. Oh, but, yeah. <laughs> first 15 minutes. <laughs> it was a two cassette. It was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't flip the tape. Uh, all right, let's go Come to now. Uh, R. Kelly talking about uh, his money with Gail King. Your income. It was reported that your income was very high. Hundreds of millions of dollars. We'll say that because I don't want to get hung up on now, the that's semantics. That's one room I wish that was true. And yet when you were in jail last week, the bond was $100,000, and they said R. Kelly couldn't even afford to get himself out of jail, that a friend had to come and bail you out of jail. What, what is your financial situation, if you don't mind saying? Here's the deal. So many people have been stealing my money. People was connected to my account. I went into, I went by myself for the first time to uh, Bank of America. Didn't know what I was doing. Didn't know what the hell was going on. Cause when? Never when, been when did you do that? First uh, time by yourself? About three weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my three God. Weeks. Okay, come on. Like, I, these artists just sit there going, like, I can't believe everybody's stealing from me. You went to the bank for the first time three weeks ago. You're in your 40s. What I are know. you doing? I've never taken a person to the bank. <laughs> you want to go to the bank? No. Who the fuck wants to go to the bank with you? <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Yeah. And how long ago was that? Three weeks. Yeah, that's that's why they're stealing your money. Yeah, musicians get ripped off all the time. All the fucking time, musicians, boxers. Yeah, but that's quite. That's I mean, right. it's, it's called being an easy mark. If you're gonna sit there and not look at your money and not know how the bank works in your forties when you're a millionaire, <laughs> yeah, you got to take that L. There's a, there's a. Did you guys watch the uh, Surviving R. Kelly documentary? Did, Loved yeah. It. Okay. Did you notice that all his music was playing in it? Yeah, that's right. You wonder why that is? Because this fucking idiot doesn't own his masters. None of them? No, that's why the doc slapped, because they weren't playing the B-sides. Right, they, they were playing, playing all the hot shit yeah. because he doesn't own any of it. So these idiots that are like, mute R. Kelly, you know that hashtag? Yeah. Play them! 
He's not it making any money nothing. anyway. Yeah. Oh my God. Right. So that's why he's so broke. It's like a lot of these guys that own, like with Michael, he owns. Of course he like, did. I think he owns half of all Sony or something crazy. He like owns that. the Beatles catalog. He owns the Beatles catalog, and I think even more. So it's didn't like, McCartney get it back? Yeah, not anymore. Either. Now, yeah. Well, he, Michael he doesn't own. It. To be fair, Michael doesn't own anything. <clears throat> right. Anymore. That's true. He's dead. He's dead. That is true. Yes. Good point. Good he's point. dead as a doornail. Just one pair of tiny underpants. <laughs> <in his hand>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bury me with that's Applehead's what he underwear. <laughs> <laughs> with safe coat. Jimmy yeah. safe coats on these. Yeah, the coroner just couldn't pry these out of his hand. So <laughs> yeah. Rigor mortis set in while he was clutching. What time is? You can bring Paul Verzi whenever. Sure, yeah, Paul Verzi's welcome to join but, uh, us. But um, yeah, so like, so so Kelly is just you would think so that competent with this shit, man. R. Kelly is, yeah. it's not even like he's one of these pop stars. The pop stars that sit there and kind of have their songs written for him that are, are, are just a creation. Yeah. Somebody else is writing the song, somebody else is making the music, and yeah. you're just plugged in, sing how we tell you to sing. When they end up with nothing, you kind of go, well, yeah, I mean, they weren't really your masters to begin right. with. You're just a piece of the puzzle. Right. But R. Kelly... Yeah, it's is a musician yeah. and a songwriter. These yeah. are his creations. Other musicians go to R. Kelly and say, "Teach me how to do write a hit." Maybe, for R. Kelly to not own his own masters is absurd. crazy. Yeah, maybe it's hard for us to like accept somebody could be so elite at one thing and that not trickle down to anything else. Well, you right? know what? Like, like an athlete that's so good at basketball, and we're like, wait, but you don't know how to do finances. At all, you only know basketball. He's like, he, look, I can't even walk and chew gum at the same that's time. That's it. You have to make He's, sure you're in charge of your own money. I'm fucking so careful. I, I sign every check. No one really? signs checks but me. I'm I'm yeah. R. Kelly. I have no clue what's going on. You don't know. I have a business manager named Carlos. <laughs> it's not even a Jewish dude. <laughs> that's so, right. Yes, yeah, yeah. no, yeah. my dad she worked in a journal, uh, like a news business in Baltimore, and that's where Oprah got her start. Mm -hmm. And uh, this was like way back before it was Oprah. And a buddy of his uh, used to get head from Oprah at the office. Really? And uh, said, allegedly, allegedly, and uh, allegedly said to my pops, um, "Bro, this chick's gonna make it." <laughs> <laughs> like it was like that and for some reason my dad remembers that story like he's got memories that are foggy now forgets a lot of shit uh -huh. hasn't forgot oprah's head skills wow good good for yeah. her. that's yeah. incredible well let's go back to the cbs uh uh interview uh this is when uh so remember i said just in, before the break that if you're gonna put out your girlfriend's to announce that like you're a good guy, you're sure. not this uh, pedophile guy who's keeping women hostage, that just to make America side with you, maybe just bring out one girlfriend, don't announce, hey, these are my two girlfriends. Yeah. Because <laughs> most of America is already like, yeah. what? You have two women saying they're your girlfriends and defending you? Like on Wednesday, you go, I don't have a harem. That's ridiculous, I do not have a harem. On Thursday, you go, here to defend me are two of my girlfriends. And you're going, okay, uh, I don't know if you know what harem means then. But uh, he talks about, here with Gail, his relationship with, uh, with his girlfriends. What is your relationship with them? I love them, and it's almost, it's like they're my girlfriends. It's like, you know, we have a relationship. It's real. And I know guys, like, I've known guys all my life to have five or six women, okay? So don't go there on me, okay? Because that's the truth. The fact that they're much younger than you. I don't look at much younger than me. I just look at legal. I just look at <laughs> you, you, I, me. Mean. Wait, now, could you just pause for a second? Yeah. Like... <laughs> That's People, ridiculous. I just look at legal. legal. Like when you have to go and say, wait, before I start, is she of legal age? When you are just getting in right at the at, right at the line. Yeah, yeah, it's there's still some suspicion there when you have to go before we do this. I have to make sure it's legal. I would say most people. Yeah. Like, are, know that this is not illegal. Yeah, What's about when, to happen? When your dick is out, you're saying, All right, what time of day were you born? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're waiting for midnight to hit. <laughs> and I love how he's got, I got friends that had six, so don't go there. <laughs> like, it's like, but what? Yeah. Isn't he right about that on some level? Like, there's dudes that have multiple sure. women their whole life, right? No, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, but yeah. they're not on TV yeah. trying to justify horrible actions. Good point. Right. <laughs> that's a, hey, that's a good point, Sam. Right. Sam, right. you really got that. So, one. so the fact that the fact that R. Kelly might have multiple girlfriends, yeah, least of his concerns at this yeah. moment. Yes, it's not a problem. No, that's not. That's not. The issue is that some of the quote-unquote girlfriends might have been held against their will, and also. <laughs> 
were teens. He's apparently <laughs> underage mes- teenagers. He's a mesmerizing guy. Like when you watch him talk, you're like, I understand why people like. I said it yesterday. Why people enjoy listening to him. Yeah. I imagine if you're a woman and you were a fan of his music, and then all of a yeah. sudden that guy's captivating. I mean, come on. Yeah. Especially if you can't read, your whole life has been verbal communication. You're probably not writing anything. Is he? You, does he really expect people to believe? That he's sitting there going, you know what I find attractive? <laughs> Women who are legal. Yeah, that's the yeah. that's the first thing. I don't pay attention I don't to look age. At age. Just yeah. legal. Legal. Yeah. yeah. I think, are, are you an adult yeah. by this state's definition of the law? <laughs> well, then you that have a shot sexy. with me. Do you remember Chappelle? I, I just thought this funny story. My grandma. You remember Chappelle did the did the you did the sketch the pee on where you like sketch, a girl yeah. was just getting peed on. Yeah. My my little Greek grandmother walked in and she sees the and it was like she, the girl's just getting peed on and she's going like this and my grandmother just goes oh is it raining <laughs> <laughs> yes like, it is grandma <laughs> so nice yeah, yeah, yeah it's it so innocent. an innocent nana awesome. question yeah. <laughs> yeah, i was like yeah it's raining <laughs> yeah i don't want to have to it's a lot to explain to you nana <laughs> yeah, 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 yes it's raining your grandmother no, I, recognize that i was like no it's not here's what really yeah. happened <laughs> <laughs> well, well you don't want her though you don't want her to walk in and go oh golden shower <laughs> <laughs> oh no I oh, miss man, why do you know that grandma's in a toilet play did you guys see abduction it in plain sight. Sure. Uh, oh, that's, we talked okay. about it we, a lot. We don't have yeah. to go rehash it, sure. uh, but it was wild, right? Okay. So, so there's something that when I was watching that, like changed my, my whole perspective on, uh, this sounds like a weird sentence, pedophilia. Still think it's wrong, but, uh, I used to think that, oh yeah, these people are attracted to kids. Mm-hmm. I don't think anybody's attracted to kids anymore. I think they're attracted to the the power dynamic with a kid where a kid looks at you like you're God. Oh yeah, for sure. And that's why he was able to get whacked off by the dad, right? Because his sexual attraction, the thing that turned him on was cued by complete dominance over a human being. Right. Right. And And then that's why he was able to fuck his wife. Well, he knew the dad was gay. He knew the dad was gay and prayed on that. Sure. But he wasn't gay. Like, right. So, but the fact that know. he could get up, B, he was just sexual. Yeah, well, the dad well, I, was not attractive. <laughs> well, you don't think so? No, the dad was a five. Not <laughs> in 1972, he was a five. I was weird. Oh, that's a rough five. <laughs> so, so because you look at the R. Kelly situation, right? My boy pointed out one of the chicks in his harem was 30, right? Yes. So it's like for him. And this goes even into like pedophile pre shit. It's like, oh, does do does going into the Catholic religion make you a pedophile? No. Being a pedophile makes you go into that position you're searching of power for that power because you're looking at the person in your community who everybody looks at up to as God. You're yeah. like, ooh, I want to be that because I need this kind of love and affection. So I, I, anyway, it's just a different way to kind of look at. I definitely. So, wait, think so you think that a pre, you think that like a, a guy that's like nineteen twenty and wants to go and be a priest in his mind? Not all, not all at all. Right, but you're saying the ones that are do that. Yeah, I don't think being they're in, going to that for that. Yes, they're like because everybody that's going to be a priest on some level, it's like they. I, I imagine on some level, well, no, you you truly love God and you want to serve God. But people they're, who want a position of power, right, want it for a reason. Like it's one thing to if you want to serve God, you want to serve God. If you want to serve God on a level that puts you above other people, and that's something that inside you, yeah, there's something there. I also and, think yeah. some of those guys want to es- think that's gonna they they can escape their demons there too. That's true. I think a lot of guys think it will cure them or like that you know maybe right. God can uh, save me. Yeah. No, that's yeah, great. Yeah, that's Let a, me get close to the person that can really change. And, and I'm not saying. That everybody that goes to be is a is a, that goes to be a priest is a bad person. I have friends right. that are you know pastors of like that are like a great lot are. yeah some are sure. yeah I don't yeah. know I don't have what the percentage is but that's a that's a great point. So you're going to, to cure it right? Well, you think it'll just save you from whatever save your you, demons and are, and then it doesn't save you. But sure. now you're in this position where all of a sudden you got all this power mm-hmm. to do the kind of wild shit that you were trying to run from, right? It, it, there's just something curious going on. So, because R. Kelly can bang this 30 year old and these 18 year olds at the same time. Well, let's listen to R. Kelly talk about his uh, girlfriends yeah. that he's deeply in love with because they're legal. Married, I don't know. I don't know if you had a relationship. I don't know what you, you know, I don't know. But one might be older than the other, one might be younger than the other. Okay? So I just look at legal. <laughs> okay? People. There are older men that like younger women. Is that there true? There are younger women that like older men. Are you an older man that likes younger women? I'm an older man that love all women. Okay. <laughs> Listen to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm a sexual man. Up. Yeah. 
But by the way, that was honest though. What he just said. I love it. Oh, that, yeah, that was. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you drag out the word "all" in an interview, you're trying to save your reputation. <laughs> yeah, that just snuck out. I love all. Oh, oh fuck! Why do they say that? Just licking his lips, looking at Gail. I love yeah. all women, Gail. <laughs> Okay, Robert. <laughs> Get a hold of yourself. Um, and this is where uh, uh, R. Kelly, so one of the defenses he's saying is that the uh, women that were being, quote unquote, held captive, he said he bought them from the parents. So he bought them. I believe that he is <laughs> saying that. So, I mean, it's like, you know, if he bought them, he bought them. That's fair. Fair is fair. That's true. Uh, and you should talk to the parents. This Absolutely. Is, he's bringing up the, uh, the, the parents here. Yeah. Uh, in one of these exactly. situations. Speak to the merchant. That's right. I didn't go looking for a Jocelyn Savage. I was doing my show. He brought her and asked a friend of mine to put her on the stage with R. Kelly. Make sure she's on the stage. Azure O'Clary, what can you tell what is your relationship with her? Right now, I'm seeing her. You were seeing yeah, her. Yeah, she's 21. I'm seeing her. She's 21. Yeah. But, but you know you're in trouble when you're, for the record, 21, and I'm seeing her. Like when, <laughs> when age comes first. Before you ask, she's 21. Wait, is she the one from the documentary that le left, to, that they found on TMZ, or no? Is that a different girl? I think that that's a different girl. I think that Ezreal. Because that girl was heartbreaking. The girl, her mom came and rescued her. Yeah. And then and at the back. And, and then, then, and then, then they said she, three days later she went back to R. Kelly. But yeah. after that, she went back home. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Which made me feel good. Yeah. I'm not sure. People do escape. <laughs> I mean, I mean, like abusive situations. Right, right, right. Yeah. If if there are abusive situations, yeah, allegedly. I don't think allegedly. I'm going to get sued for saying that, that she might have escaped an abusive situation. <laughs> I, I, I think I can hold up in court. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, R. Okay. <laughs> Did you start seeing her at 17? Absolutely not. Did you have sex with her when she was 17? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Although her parents wanted me to. No, her parents claim they have text messages that show that you had sex with her when claim. she was 17. Uh, claim. So you're saying you did not have sex with her Absolutely when she was 17? Absolutely not. Can we look up Azriel Clary? Uh, Troy, I want to see what she looks like so I'll know her face. Yeah, is she the one that went to the pool party? Remember that one that was describing going to the pool party who was uh, hanging out outside the courtroom during R. Kelly's first case? I don't rem I remember the one that had very, very short hair at the end with the little baseball hat, and they, uh, and they took her... Oh, oh I remember her, yeah. That's that was the one... Like now, though. Is that the... Who's the That's one whose mom came and rescued her? That was her, but she... she Cut off all her hair and was wearing a baseball hat, wasn't she? Is that Azriel Clary? I think so. Well, she's back with him. I guess so. That's tough. That's uh, tough. That's crazy. What does uh, what does Kels do next? Kels is talking to Gail King on uh, on on CBS, and he and she talks about you know the the concert stuff that he would have girls on stage with him at the concert. They would come backstage with him, and then all of a sudden. He's leaving the concert with the kids, and the parents that brought the kids are like, yeah, what happened to my kid? Uh, so I guess he's addressing it here. Yeah. You are with two women right now. You love them. They say they love you. What kind of love is it that keeps these these young women away from their families? Well, their well, families are saying... are talking about these. I'm talking right now about Jocelyn and Because you know, I'm going to answer your question. What, what kind, kind of, of love father, is that? What kind of father? What kind of mother? will sell their daughter to a man. Who did that? How come it was okay for me to see them until they wasn't getting no money from it? Ooh. Why would you take your daughter, if I were gonna take my daughter and she's 19 years old to a 49 year old icon, whatever, celebrity, or <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want to call I, it, you know. <laughs> That's fair. I guess icon is the yeah, right whatever. word, however you want to say God. it. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly not pedophile, though. Yeah. You can say icon. Star icon. That's such a big yeah. jump. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to put her on the stage and leave her. I'm going to take her to the concert. Their father is more into my music and know about my music than they do. You're saying the, the parents handed their daughters, Azurel and Jocelyn, over to you? Is that what you're saying to us? Absolutely. Are the cameras you, still you, going? Yes. Absolutely. Why wouldn't, Why the, wouldn't cameras the cameras be going? Stop stop they the don't part. turn off in the middle of interviews. Yeah, let's not film this. <laughs> this yeah. Is... <laughs> yeah, we have to reload, but we're not going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> there, there is a, a through line with, you know, abducting in plain sight, the Michael Jackson thing, and mm -hmm. this. It's like, 
completely incompetent parents. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Unfathomable. But yeah, the in plane sight like I thought was the worst. The in plane sight was actually the th- worst. that was criminal. that was criminal. Yeah, yeah honestly, parents did. Well, I mean, look, the father's distracted. Head. He's fucking jerking <laughs> the guy off. By the way, I submit that he sucked it too. That's my guess. Uh, of course he did. <laughs> I no- love how he showed up during the day and he goes, "Man, I'm a little tense. You want to go for a ride? I got a stiffy." And the guy's like, "Yeah, because you jerked hey. me off. Ah, I'm a good friend. Yeah. It's kid stuff. It's just kid it's stuff. Kid stuff. It's kid stuff. Yeah. Come yeah. on. There's what are we no doing way here? the father didn't fucking. I, I I guarantee you, Bob Bob's big hand went on the back of fucking dumpy. His head, he was like, All right, you think it was a one time deal? No, no, me neither. No, 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 me neither. He did sexual acts with both parents, and I think that that's what he was holding. That was kind of why they were, you know, he had that power over yeah. there. Black- yeah, he blackmailed the uh, they all tell them everything, so they let their daughter just kind of be it's even terrible, people. terrible parents, even the Michael Jackson stuff. The Michael, it's so clear when you're talking to those moms, if you believe those documentaries, dude, both of those moms wanted to be able to hang out with Michael Jackson, wanted their kids to be okay. able to get up on stage with Michael Jackson, yes. yep. and they ignored what every going, telltale the, sign. The sign that, 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 that made illuminated for me was one of the moms says this. He goes, yeah, Michael Jackson befriended us. Us. Exactly. Yeah. That's to right. this day, she says Dude, us. Wade Robson's mom was saying in the doc, she goes, no, Michael and I had a completely different relationship than Michael and Wade. And then she says, when Michael died, she clutched a Michael Jackson jacket and just cried and cried and cried for hours. She also said that uh, she didn't want to know the sexual. Is that the one who says she didn't want to know the sexual? Who's the Australian lady? That's Wade Wade Robson. She she didn't want to know any of the sexual stuff. I'd have nightmares. Well, it's like he has to deal with it. Yeah. Yeah. What a selfish, awful woman. Yeah. No wonder he doesn't like you. Bro, it, it was uns. Yeah, she's a cunt. Yeah, she's yeah. what a fucking cunt. I don't want to know. You, you know, know what, makes, is. what? What makes these guys the most sick though is like the shit they do before they actually do the sexual act. The way they like kiss him on the head, give him candy, the grooming, and then and, and then all of a, and then it's like I could yeah. trust this guy. This guy gave me cotton candy and put me on a fucking roller coaster. Yeah, and he's taking care of my family. And then oh yeah, and then we're gonna hop in bed, lay down together, and then it just starts like that. And these and I think they like still like love him in a way, which is fucking crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dude, I'm watching do. it. That was the it's scariest crazy, thing about man. it. Like when they were the first thirty minutes. I turned after. Th- th- 30 minutes but before they really talked about any kind of sexual shit it seemed like they were reminiscing on the best part of their fucking life well the yes. kids the kids loved him yeah like they, they you know. fucking loved him i mean yeah. they're still on some level you took to wait by the end of the thing he's like yeah i was like sexually abused but on some level he still looks at michael jackson as his first love yeah, a hundred percent. Because he's you young. He, you know, when you're that young, and you that shit happens, dude. MJ might have How been a better know? molester than dancer, bro. The yeah. fact that like oh, he still me? got that connection in these fucking kids' eyes. Yeah, like, th- and they're they're both straight. Well, he is a big star too. It's, it's when you're when you're when you're yeah, considered that, a god. There's an aura, and it, it's kind of hard. But if he was a regular, if he was a trucker, if he was Michael Jackson, the fucking guy that worked for UPS part time, <laughs> he would not have a thirty year love affair. <laughs> be tougher. <laughs> so you gotta earn your molestation. Is that what oh, you're absolutely? Saying? You're a god among men. I get it. <laughs> FedEx Michael Jackson yeah. from Jersey. Yeah, it's Mike Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> you want to go on a truck ride? No. 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 <laughs> you two in the neighborhood. Yes, what? No. no. Why would I? <laughs> yeah, sure. This is like riding a private jet to Hawaii. This, guy, yes, this is should. literally the most. I think it's safe to say. Would you guys agree? This is the most famous person of all time. Michael Jackson. I mean, who? I mean, Jesus, Michael. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's like Caesar. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Some yeah, big ones. Yeah. Pro- I mean, yeah. I would say, but in terms of pop culture, people, yeah. Michael, Michael and Elvis. Wow. Are, the, are the people? Yeah, I would even give Michael the edge over. Elvis. I would probably too. Elvis was there before, but Michael for long after. Yeah, Michael had way longer of a run. Like Elvis wasn't in Asia, right? Well, Michael, he was known. I think he was big. Was he? I think he was big. But he's all not, over the Elvis world. is not really listened to in Africa. They probably know who he is, though. Yeah, but Michael's oh, yeah, literally Mike. the entire world was focusing on one human being. How like if he went to Japan, and it was Beatles. If he went to Africa, it was Beatles. Like it was. Yeah. How about was, this? Michael has the whole world looking at him. And he's still able to molest. Yeah, you talk about and having a lens kid. on you. Can you believe that? You greatest you talk, mo- smooth criminal, greatest molester of all time. And, and he put little be. hats on them and walked them around in public, holding their hand. And they're like, "Oh, that's not cute." Yeah, he pulled it off. He dressed him up like him and walked him around nonstop. The whole world's watching. And notice they said it. He He's didn't do it with Macaulay Culkin. He's abducted in plain sight. Right. Like Macaulay Culkin was there apparently, yes. right? And he didn't do anything with him. But maybe he knew. He's like, listen, this kid's well, that's famous. Right. And Corey Feldman so, is the same deal. Didn't do anything with Corey. Oh, Corey Feldman. was jealous. Did you see that fucking jealousy? 
He was so fuck. He's like, oh, if he couldn't, if he didn't do it to me, why would he do it to anyone yeah, else? Yeah, we were reading you that. Fucking yeah. egomaniac. <laughs> <laughs> you ugly little kid. That's why he. That's what you fucked up mentally yeah. when you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> you didn't exactly. get diddled. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 uh, I, you know, yeah. I, I, Go ahead. Belt. Nope. You say it. No. Nope. Say it. <laughs> nope. Now had, it's time. No, I don't have a joke. I had a thought. Go. It was like when you're. It was almost like when you're formulating a joke and you took. It's like the parts are coming together in front of you. A beautiful mind. It didn't happen there. Right. No. no the I the saw, funny part just flew right by. <laughs> Two parts. All the other parts are around. <laughs> Two parts floated. I just stared at them in the air and watched them go away. Like a fool. <laughs> like a goddamn fool on live radio. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do we? We didn't finish that clip, did we, Troy, or did we? Uh, n uh, no. Okay. This I, is uh, <sighs> this is R. Kelly. Did we play oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, they're the concert they're... clip we played? Yeah. Okay. This is R. Kelly now talking about his uh, child support. Which this interview was obviously filmed on Tuesday, mm -hmm. 24 hours removed from the interview, he would be arrested right. for said child support. Isn't that interesting? $160,000. Yeah. Um, but R. Kelly talks about it here. How can I pay child support? How? If my ex-wife is destroying my name and I can't work, how can I work? How can I get paid? How can I take care of my kids? How? Your ex-wife Use says, your common sense. Your ex-wife says <laughs> you abused her, Robert. 13 lives. Right. 13 years. Being married. I flew in on a helicopter. <laughs> That's pretty badass. I flew in on a helicopter. That's great. Yeah. That is pretty cool. The flying yeah, Lance was in the back with a surfboard. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, helicopters are cool. Oh, sure. You know, so. <laughs> we stopping? Well, just to kind of assess. Take like, it in, okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Percy <laughs> Harvey. Because he's, just, sort of, and cause he's just so up and down. Like, yeah. and, and that crying seems like acting. Wait, and why? Years. Like, why are you crying? Because I flew in on a helicopter! <laughs> what? <laughs> Did that mean nothing to you? I know. <laughs> Fucking yeah. Vic Morrow told a happier helicopter story. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get let's get Fuck. back to Kels. We shouldn't be making fun of him. He's a vulnerable man. <laughs> he's a very vulnerable. This God, is in his in, in his weekend state. He's, he, I mean, for God's sakes, guys. Yeah. The man flew in on a helicopter. Flew in on a helicopter. <laughs> you believe God. this, yeah. dude? I uh, that reminds me of that Bill Burr joke in the helicopter. Man, that was one of the loudest I've ever laughed while watching something on TV. What was the joke? The the, the helicopter ride he went in. <laughs> or, no, no, he went in. But uh, about the. guy. <laughs> I'm gonna butcher it, but you just tell the a story about this guy who uh, was giving tours, <laughs> giving tours, and then just jumped out of the helicopter. You want to know? This is a great story. We're driving. <laughs> it's too far. No, Andrew, we're driving from El Paso to San Antonio. Me and him, and I go like this. this is true. This is how it came about. I go, we're driving from El Paso to San Antonio, like four years ago, you know, and uh, three years ago, and I just go, dude, did you hear about that? I heard the story. I go, did you hear about that guy that was giving hot helicopter tours over Orange County, and he just showed up. Alone, he got to 500 feet. He opened the door and he jumped the fuck out. And Burr, I just see his wheels. He goes, "What do you think?" He goes, "Dude, what do you think the pilot was thinking?" Right. So then he goes, "He's going, oh fuck, close it, close it." He goes, "Hey, close the door." And you know, they go, oh fuck, he starts doing it. And I watched him. I go, "Dude, you got to do that on." Because when we would be on tour, he'd be like, "You do that on stage, I'll do this." You promise? Like we were, the, you know, a growing thing. And I go, "You got to do that on stage." That was so funny. And he did it, and he just did that part. But then he did it from both perspectives. And then by the time the that's tour was I over. He had the whole thing. He had, the, but the guy was supposed to go up in the helicopter with his wife. And then his, he, told, yeah, yeah, he yeah. said that he was going with two, but his whole plan was to kill himself. Right. So he's like, oh, the other person didn't show up. But here's the kicker: the helicopter pilot just got the company handed to him after 40 years from the father. So that was his and first it was like ride. His, it was like, oh. Yeah, it was like yeah. His, yeah. And the guy jumped <laughs> out. So, so he went. He guy went, got there. He's like, yeah, my, the other person's not coming. Got to 500. Just looked over and yeah. just and just went. And uh, <laughs> the broke craziest him. thing <laughs> is he jumped. So yeah, so he's doing this funny act out where he's like, so right now you can see the Los Angeles. Put your seatbelt back on. So you can see the Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> What's in there? Close the door. What's in there? No! What the fuck? And then he goes, and he goes, he goes, he goes the craziest thing is the guy lived. <laughs> Jumped out he, lived. he lived and then he died in the hospital. He broke. He was yeah. He, yeah, yeah. he brought him there. They brought him a mess. Oh so, wow! So he does yeah. the act out of him falling, and he goes. He goes four more seconds until I'm happy. Three more seconds until I don't have to deal with any of this shit anymore. Boom. <laughs> 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 
Oh, but the guy right. did die in the hospital. Yeah, he, he died, died in the hospital. hospital. Yeah. But dude, good for him. oh god, R. Kelly, man, visionary. <laughs> All right, let's rewind just a little bit so we can hear about R. Kelly's helicopter mm -hmm. and how he can't pay child support because of it. Sure. Nine, You're thirteen years <laughs> being married. I flew in on a helicopter. Yeah, yeah. I flew in on a helicopter. Yes. Yeah. 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 Can somebody get us some tissue? I don't want no tissue. I'm going to leave. No, you're doing well. Look, man, look. Wait, somebody is misinforming him of something. I'm going to leave, he said. Yeah, and the guy he goes, goes, no, you're doing well. The guy next to him said, you're doing well. That's my Gail King's producer. <laughs> no, it's going great. <laughs> I try to be the same guy. <laughs> Probably the same guy that signs R. Kelly's checks. Yeah, I'm convinced. They're sitting there going like, no, you're doing great. You're doing awesome. Uh, <laughs> hell oh, shit. I flew in on a helicopter yeah. with a damn puppy, and I <laughs> proposed <laughs> to Drill, whom I was in love with, and told her, hey, look, I make mistakes. I'm not perfect. We got married. Okay, we had three beautiful kids. Not once have I ever had a domestic violence call at the house and all this, that, and the other. It never happened. Okay? I mean, that's the most romantic thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> yeah, it brings a puppy on a helicopter. He flew in on a helicopter with a damn puppy. Uh, I mean, come on. I believe him. Does this guy sound like a bad guy to you? Not I believe that story. I believe that story 100%. Well, yeah, I mean, you puppy. know how much you have to do to make up for the fact that yeah. you might be pissing on underage women? Yes. Like, that real, you really have to charm a girl at that yeah. point. And, and also, a, a puppy in a helicopter <laughs> will help. You imagine if a woman says no, you propose, <laughs> you put your dog, fucking dog back on the helicopter and take off. <laughs> humiliating. <laughs> All right, well, I just this is why home. he fucks kids, though, because that would impress a kid. Oh my god, a like, helicopter and a puppy? brain work? It's just like... We got candy canes in there, too? Yeah, it's I'm amazing. Just, yeah. <laughs> it's, just, <I> <laughs> it's incredible. I got a, uh, a bag full of gobstoppers, too. Amazing! <laughs> That's a very romantic way Imagine to Imagine proposing to your wife who checks your bank account with a helicopter and a, and puppy. a puppy. Yeah. Are you out of your fucking mind? And Jess, good news. We also got a dog. Yeah. <laughs> like, we can't. This We're isn't a walk the dog. This what is, is a returnable puppy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so uh, <laughs> I want to go to Lancaster and get one from a puppy mill because they're really that's where the best place to buy them. You like puppy mills? Mm -hmm. the I best? do. Yeah. I see. Yeah. I see. <laughs> <laughs> they love giving birth. <laughs> um, I believe that uh, is Rob in there with you, Travis. Yes, he is. So does Rob think that this last clip is best to be played through audio or video? Uh, I'd do video. Okay. Troy, uh, why don't you hook, hook us up I with the video? Because Rob said that the visual was terrific. Yeah, I sent Troy the link. Good for you, Rob. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, wait. Did I... Very dutiful. He's killing very, I try. Very yeah. dutiful young man. Oh, Unfortunately, well, I don't know if I deleted. we are dealing with a little operator error here. Well, I'll, I'll resend it. I'll resend it. No, just look in your it. trash. Yeah. Oh, trash. girlfriend. Yeah. No, this isn't. Oh, it's in trash. God. Try, try trash. Try trash. Where's your garbage? Delete Why would you items. delete it? He just sent you the clip and you deleted it. I don't know. He sent it to you during the break and he was like, "Here, we might do this." And you're like, "Oh, nah, let me just delete that." You made that. an executive decision. Nah, fuck it. Fuck Troy's it. got Rob on the pay no mind list. Yeah, he does. It's true. worse than the pay no mind right list. Right there. Fuck Troy. Yeah, but no. this is this is just an audio clip. No, but it's, oh, yeah, I just God. resent it. No, but it's, go to your inbox. Yeah, go to try the inbox. Yeah, pull right there. No, no. Wait, right? No. Inbox. 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 There you go. Perfect. Okay. Uh, you Refresh. Go. There you go. Hey, hey, right there, there we are. There we Troy, go. you may be the worst person to ever operate a PC. That's not true. Like, that's, <laughs> that's not true. You're on the list. You can just click the link. You don't have to highlight it. I know, but then I open it in Internet Explorer. And then it Well, I'd rather you open it in Internet and... Explorer than just sit here and uh, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. have your thumb up your ass. No, no, my thumb's not up my ass. It feels like it. It smells. <laughs> yeah, oh, no. It's that one. Okay, here we go. Thank God for... Rob, uh, let's go. Let's Mike go. sent me something on my phone and said that I hog tied her. I don't know how to hog tie people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look. <laughs> that is kind of foolproof. <laughs> I don't know how to hog tie people. Nope. He's not a Boy Scout. Where would he learn the knots from? <laughs> the defense rests. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can you imagine? You're the Pied Piper of R and B. I mean, hit after hit, decades of success in the music industry, and 2019 has brought you to the point that you're on national network. 
morning television, bawling your eyes out, saying, I don't know how to honk that people. Yeah, can we see that again? <laughs> I mean, if that's not the greatest quote that CBS <laughs> this morning will ever have in an interview, I don't know what is. And he's doing, I mean, this is the face that uh, I was talking about yesterday, and a bunch of people on social media picked it up. This is the face that I believe will beat out the crying Jordan face for dominance in crying memes. Ooh. This is it. Sent me something on my phone and it said that I hog-tied her. I don't know how to hog-tie people. I mean, come on. Well, Dude, that face, with the context of, oh, what was R. <laughs> Kelly crying about? He was crying because he was being falsely accused of hog-tying, hog-tying people. Bro. Well, maybe yeah. he's upset that he didn't know how to do it. He didn't even know how to do it. Yeah, I, don't yeah. yeah. I don't know how to hog-tie people. <laughs> I'm already embarrassed. I can't read. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to hog tie. Too. Somebody sent me a hog tie manual. I just look at it. I can't do knots. <laughs> can't read no instructions about hog tie. Uh, Your Honor, the defense would like to present uh, Exhibit uh, D. Art Kelly's YouTube history. He clearly viewed a how to hog tie YouTube video. Well, after they Mo- accuse me, I'm gonna try to figure it out. I can't walk these streets and I know how to hog tie. What if I find a hog? <laughs> I don't know where to find a hog. What am I going to do? Just leave it there? I can't buy bacon in the store anymore. Because they stole all my money. I got a hog tie these hogs. Come on, man. The Pied Piper. He can't believe it. He can't believe this is all. How could this happen to him? This is his worst nightmare. How could this all be happening to me? Uh, I did the remix to Ignition. <laughs> how could this be happening? Hog dying. I don't know how to hog tie. Okay, well, <laughs> look at listen to all my songs. I'm talking about hogs. <laughs> you want to see me talk about hog tying? <laughs> yeah. You would think you would have rhymed about I it and I grab. I don't hog die. <laughs> Since when? <laughs> Since when? I believe I can fly. I don't believe I can hog tie. <laughs> That's not how the song went. <laughs> <laughs> there was a midget trapped in the closet. He couldn't reach the knob. He wasn't tied. I would have tied him up if I could have. He wasn't trapped in a bar. <laughs> <laughs> I got puppies, not hogs. Exactly. <laughs> you don't got tied up. You just put a leash. <laughs> Who's got a helicopter in a hog? <laughs> it's not going to happen. Use logic. Common sense. <laughs> Use common sense! <laughs> common sense! Is that camera on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh. <laughs> You're doing a great job, Gail King. <laughs> <laughs> it really is, man. You think Gail King is just sitting there watching this man lose his mind and going, holy shit. Yeah, this, this is, what is you the hope for. greatest thing that could have ever happened to yeah. me. But she keeps hitting him, too. There was two things that happened in Gail King's career. One, she became Oprah's best friend. Two, she got to interview yeah. R. Kelly. She I didn't mean, think it would go this well. No. no you no have. way she thought it would go no. this well. The, the ego it would take yeah. on somebody to think that it would go this well. <laughs> Wait, he's going to cry and throw his arms out and claim he doesn't know how to hog tie people? No. It's not going to happen. It's ridiculous. It couldn't. Don't, it, please. It couldn't. It's we insane. can dream. Do you think that this helps us? Do you think people like go to his music after this? Bro. You know, I don't know. He doesn't come out in a fucking helicopter on his next show. He's out of his guy. If he box. has another show, he may yeah. not even get another show. Yeah. Just holding a hogtied puppy. Yeah. <laughs> I learned. You can learn from your mistakes. <laughs> and now I know how to hogtie. So watch out. <laughs> All right, let's get back to it. Oh, God. My kids is listening to this. All of this nonsense. And I ain't been spending no time with them. This is real. This is not a lie. What kind of woman would tear down a dad who's trying to have a relationship with their kids? You know how many kids need a relationship with their father? What is your relationship with your children? Oh, my God. What is your relationship with your children? R. Kelly is sitting there. Loosening his tie. Here's what's going on. R. Kelly just loosened his tie. He's crying. I mean, crocodile tears. He's bawling, crying. Gail King is looking at him (laughs) stone-faced. Nothing. What is your relationship? You know what's going on in R. Kelly's mind? What the fuck do I have to do to break this woman? How great would it be if he just pulled out his dick and pissed on her? (laughs) (laughs) Like, you know, fuck that. Here's your hog tie, bitch. 
He just snapped. And she wouldn't Stop. move. She'd still fire out questions. <laughs> While it's just hitting her forehead. Yeah. So do, do, what is the relationship with your children? Just she is give me a towel. She just relentless. says to her producer, give me a towel. Hey, go back. That most The most honest moment he just had was that, oh, my God. Like, this is his yeah. nightmare. Yeah, that yeah. was a very honest moment. Because this is a, a guy. Believe what you want to believe. There is no doubt that this is a guy who's become a professional at using his emotions to trick women sure. into into feeling certain ways yeah. and to and to get people to to go in the direction that he wants them to go in yeah. to look across from an, a woman and to be crying and to be yeah. pleading and to be doing all this and, no and to have no effect and she has no Gail is not looking you know and sometimes women feel you know right a little bit like oh my god this guy Empathy. she's look, she's, look, she's yeah. looking zero. at him like she's looking at him like fuck you you actors yeah. this is bullshit she's zero yeah. yeah yeah i know what you did i still know what you did i think he's <laughs> still know what you did his yeah. meltdown is real but it, she, she doesn't give a fuck she is at all it, his meltdown is not for the reasons that he's saying the meltdown is for him right. in my opinion right yeah it's just he's he's realizing his career is over yeah, yeah. i can't believe that. and now, and he also, at this point in the interview, I think, realizes that this is not going the way he thought it was going to go. Yes. That he's not convinced Gail King. Because he knows, look, he may not be the smartest guy in the world. He doesn't know banking or reading or spelling <laughs> or, or anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. Or hog tying. Yeah. He doesn't know knots. He knows two things. He knows music. Yeah. And he knows people's emotions. Yeah. And he knows he is not broken Gale. He's probably a very good manipulator. He's yes, a, he's, absolutely. You know, he's, a, he's a good communicator, and yeah. he just can't with her. He mm -hmm. can't. He doesn't care about the kids crying there. You're right, Jim. It's not about that. No, it's it's more about he's just realizing the magnitude of what's happened. Like, yeah. and that, oh my God, is this, it's it's my nightmare. It's here. Yeah. This is amazing. It's real. <laughs> pulls out a stick and starts beating me. <laughs> <laughs> what else can I do? I can't do it anymore. <laughs> what else can I do? And you, you hear the trickle of liquid hitting the paper <laughs> as she reads the next question. <laughs> Relentless. Gail <laughs> King is relentless. <laughs> it's just gliding down the paper. It's kind of coned, you know? Yeah. She's just reading her questions. <laughs> she does one of these. And you know, Robert, <laughs> it says here that you knew she was 13. <laughs> From the back of the sheet, you see that yellow stain starting to build. And she won't stop. <laughs> this woman is crazy. Oh, fuck, I'm peeing on this woman and nothing. Oh, dude, you just broke me, dude. <laughs> 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 Oh. All right, let's get back, back to, to it. the clip. Oh, fuck. <laughs> with their father. What is your relationship with your oh children? Oh, my God. <laughs> what is your relationship with your children? <laughs> Excuse me. Zero. Zero. But I know my kids love me. And I'm in love with my kids. Yeah. I love my kids. Let's see what Gail had to say. In like, January, Kelly's oldest child, who is now 20 years old, wrote in an Instagram post that she and her two siblings have not had a relationship with their father for years. We reached out to Andrea Kelly for comment on R. Kelly's allegations, but her representatives say they do not have any statements at this time. Gail King is fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah dude. they were, they were interviewing her. Stone cold. She, she's great. She's become a big part of the story uh, now. They were interviewing her, and it was a story yesterday that she said... Uh, this is when you know you're fucked if you're R. Kelly. The headline yesterday was, Gail King says she didn't feel like she was in danger during the interview. And you're going, right, yeah. you are so, like, R. Kelly is such a villain that the assumption would be, oh, Gail King must have felt like she was in danger. But Gail King is this, is this he-man of a woman, mm, is yeah. this powerful mm. woman who's sitting there standing up to this villain of all villains who can't scare her. Well, the post on it was him standing up, so all I saw was him standing up oh, in yeah. front of her, like, with his hand. They wanted you to think that, you know, he was, like, she was in some sort of danger, but she was ice cold, man. Yeah. Give yeah. her credit. Let yeah. me go to some of, these, uh, some of these calls here. Let's go to Brad in Oregon. What's up, Brad? Hey man, that that uh that clip where he was like, uh, I don't know how to hot tie. Doesn't he sound like Sweet Georgia Brown? That remember that lady? Ain't nobody got time for that. He does sound like that. I think yeah. Uh, uh, Rob, for tomorrow for for your project over the weekend, can you uh, go ahead and make me an R. Kelly soundboard, please? Thank you very very much, <laughs> uh, Kevin in Florida. Hey, what's up? Yeah, this interview is so crazy. I can't imagine that somebody who passed the bar exam would have their client do this. So I'm wondering if it's to, like, poison the jury pool or... 
yeah. uh, like have a claim for inadequate counsel down the road. No, this is. I think this is because this is him testifying when he's not under oath. You are poisoning the juicy jury pool. You're testifying, and there's no. You, you're not uh, bound by being under oath. So you, you, he's not going to testify in his own trial. I don't think. Maybe it's like they're oh, poisoning the jury. But his pool. lawyer yeah. didn't. His lawyer allowed mean? this. To, I don't. Maybe he's just like I don't. Meaning care what that like says. it becomes more difficult yeah. to have the trial because they can't find an unbiased jury. I think he's just trying to get his message oh, out yeah. there, and again, not under cross examination. But because maybe they're thinking you, okay, it's like yeah. it's like uh, it's like the Knicks. Like fans of the Knicks want them to lose more now, so they get the higher draft pick at the beginning of the next season. Okay. So maybe the lawyer is going like, okay, halfway through the interview, he's going, this is going so badly that maybe <laughs> it'll just fuck the case up entirely. So this either has to go excellent. Or horribly. Yeah. So this is by design. That's an interesting theory. I don't think so. Okay. I think R. Kelly had a complete breakdown. Okay. I think he envisioned this going very, very, very differently. Okay. Very differently. I thought he was going to, I think he thought he was going to win over Gail King. Like then, he's done to so many other women. Yeah. And then when he saw it not going that way, he just broke. He's broke. He broke. She yeah. broke him. Yeah. Wow. Instead of he, she broke him. Yeah. I believe. Wow. Uh, Eddie in Pittsburgh. Yeah, hi. I was just uh, calling because I noticed that the interviewer forgot to ask the most pertinent questions with all the time that she had allotted to her was, did these girls have their passports and did they get their shots? <laughs> that actually is a, thank you, Eddie. That actually is a very, very important question. And thank hopefully you. delivered like Frankenstein's assistant. Yeah. But still, <laughs> we're all sitting there going like, well, clearly this is a prank call. A person doesn't sound like that. <laughs> thank you, Eddie. <laughs> you thought that was Igor? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I do. And who knows? Because we've only heard clips. Maybe uh, uh, Gail King will ask this pertinent question in the extended interview that they air on Friday night. But I would like to know if the girls had their passports Fair and question. if they had their shots. Do you know this this single, Andrew Schultz? I know you're familiar with R. Kelly's Love catalog. Love it. You Love like it. this one? Yeah. Live Paul from Versi. Ethiopia. Have you heard the uh, song, Do You Have Your Passports? No. Check, check it what out. What year this, is this? This <clears> is... Uh, Oliver, 2009. Right now, I, I believe. I, no, I, I think it is from somewhere around two thousand. No, this is recent. He was just in Ethiopia. I thought this is from New Year's, so it wasn't this year's New Year's. I thought it was. No, I don't think so. Andrew might be right. It might be recent. I don't think it's this year's New Year's. Oh, but right. he went to Ethiopia. It's from twenty eleven. I'm being. Oh told. wow. Okay. Uh, but he went to Ethiopia, and uh, yeah, well, you're wrong on all counts. <laughs> <laughs> and this was the song that he just started singing to the crowd on New Year's yeah. Eve. He's got a, such a, a, what a gift to be able to fucking belt out a shit lyric song like that. And he's I mean, just it's, recruiting is what he's doing. Yeah. 100%. But it's yeah. great that he doesn't, like, he's, he's too stupid to uh, write in metaphor. So it's, oh, it's just very, very literal. Yeah. But he's so talented <laughs> that he can get away with being so stupid as a writer. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> I would say that that song probably wouldn't do uh, R. Kelly any favors if it were played in court. No. <laughs> <laughs> I would absolutely present that as evidence. Like, just so you know, this is the type of shit he does in Ethiopia. I don't Did know you if you get this... your shots? Well, yeah. What the... I guess you need those shots, though. Need those shots. You can't yeah, be coming without those shots. But when you say... Do you have your passport? That's one thing. Yeah. Right. When you go as far as did you, you get, get your, your shots? shots you do you want to come shots. to America? That's like, like yeah. I'm really asking. No, no, yeah. Let's <laughs> like, that's not like no, we're yeah, just doing this for the song. Question. Like once I go, yes. did you get your shots? No, I want to know because we are. I am going to bring some of you back with me to America. Somebody mm -hmm. back was like, you think we could bring some of these girls back? And he's hold on, I got an idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm turn this into a song. I think we could do it. <laughs>